good morning everybody we are going to start with uh, business income business english with uh, negotiation skills today now negotiation skills are uh, very important in business because there are many areas where negotiate negotiations have to happen so the negotiations can be called as a way of resolving disputes it is considered as being synonymous uh, to settlement agreement collaboration and bargaining it takes place almost in all spheres of life be it business personal circumstances married life parenting etc legal procedures government matters etc negotiation can be defined as a channel of communication intended to reconcile differences between parties and to settle conflict jointly the parties aim at achieving a win win position so see everywhere negotiations can happen even in married life the sometimes you may have to uh, settle certain differences maybe at certain junctures of uh, life maybe your parents itself might have taken certain important decisions by arriving at certain conclusions maybe both of them suppose both of them work then you know it will, might be difficult for them to look after maybe two children or three children so one of them may have to make a sacrifice so like this there will be lots of negotiations happening in married life in in parenting in businesses and because of this business negotiations require a lot of homework such as asking what is the need for negotiation who all are involved what are their view points what are your aims what is expected from negotiation so so many things that you need to think about before going for a negotiation meeting negotiation involves minimum of two parties the aim of negotiation is understood by both parties the parties are willing to arrive at a mutually agreeable outcome the outcome is acceptable to both parties there are certain do's and don'ts in the case of negotiation so this is very important in negotiation both parties and un they understand that at one point of time they have to come to a a minimum decision so maybe i i might be let's say a land deal where i want to sell this land for maybe um, 10 lakhs percent suppose another party wants to buy it only at 8 lakhs percent so 10 lakhs and 8 lakhs so there has to now we are coming on a negotiating table negotiating table means there's no place like that but we are maybe sitting at a cafe or maybe we are sitting uh, face to face in the house and then we start talking maybe there might be a broker in between or suppose there is no broker both of us arrive at a place and we start our discussion i say i want 10 lakhs for the land you say i can give you only 8 lakhs then we start discussing about the pros and cons and one at one point of time ultimately maybe we both will agree for 8.5 lakhs percent or 9 lakhs percent whatever depending on suppose you don't want to sell you become very stubborn and you say no i'm sorry i don't want to negotiate with you that also can happen but at the same time suppose you come to a negotiating table then it is understood that you will arrive at a mutually agreeable understanding between both of you so what there are certain do's and don'ts don'ts that you need to look into one do not discuss too many issues emphasize on prior issues you don't take the, your old story and bring it out today we are at the table we are at the negotiating table because you want to buy the land i want to sell the land now you don't talk about uh, long ago when when you said that uh, you that uh, you have some other stories so don't don't talk so don't emphasize on prior issues what is the point that you are going now you want to negotiate for the land you want to either sell or you want to buy so let's see number 2 be honest and straightforward don't get carried away by rumors so that person said like this rumors you know rumor mongering is one of the greatest 
things and that should not happen in a negotiation. Then never give deadlines. It might lead to delays in deals. So don't say, okay, uh, tomorrow morning, I will, you say, I let me think about it and I will give you an answer within 10 days, something like that, within 10 days. Within 10 days is not a deadline. I mean, of course there is a deadline, but at the same time, it can happen on the second day, it can happen on the third day. Then keep away personal differences. Just focus on arguments on facts. So don't, maybe you, you will have certain things that you might want to have in, in a, let's say a land deal, but at the same time, keep away personal differences. Suppose you, you might be angry at that particular person, but that is different. In business, there is no anger. In business, you are negotiating because you want to you want to transact something. You want to give something or you want to buy something. Keep on giving recaps during the negotiation for purpose process. Avoid being rigid. Listen to the other party's viewpoint if valid. So keep on giving recaps. So you will understand that yesterday I talked to you about that land and that land. I told you that it has a border. The border is, uh, uh, let, let's say, fenced. Or there is a well inside. There is a water source inside the land. And this is exactly why I, I say that I want 10 lakhs for it. So the other person will have another argument for it. Yeah, but uh, water source we can get from cooperation. So I really don't need the water source. So I And I will not be able to pay you this much. Instead, I will be able to pay you only 8 lakhs per cent. So like this, you know you are negotiating the side that side but don't be rigid listen to the other party's viewpoint if valid so he may have his uh, he or she may have their viewpoint so maybe they'll say i, I wouldn't be able to give you all the money also now i'll uh, instead of uh, eight lakhs i'll give you nine lakhs but you must give me a time i will give you uh, you i will give you let's say five lakhs now and the next four lakhs i'll be able to give you only after six months so like this you listen to their arguments you uh, you you lis listen to their viewpoint and if it is valid you can accept it you can give testimonials for your arguments support your arguments with facts uh, business deals you know this uh, this is very important let's say now the road pro the uh, road is being constructed the bypass if you have gone through the bypass i'm sure you will know that the bypass, uh, certain places, uh, certain houses have been, you know, sliced. Certain entry to certain institutions have been closed, and they need they have, they need to look into another way to get in. So there'll be so many problems, but then because of progress, uh, you might have to sacrifice certain things now. I don't say that sacrificing is a good thing because certain uh, some people want to say sacrifice um, their lives. Maybe they may not be even able to build another house. So, so such things can also happen. I know that. But at the same time, a good business deal will involve both parties to come at a table and then start uh, negotiations. So don't make demands which can't be accepted at all. So, but, uh, the 10 lakhs land, don't say, I'll, I can sell it only if I get 15 lakhs for it. Because that is unrealistic. Then don't let emotions overwhelm you. Don't be angry. If at all the other person is angry, you say, okay, if you are angry, we'll do one thing. Let us uh, stop the deal. Let us not discuss further. Uh, I don't think we will be able to ever be able to come to a conclusion. So let us uh, stop. That will be better. Be optimistic. Don't fear losing. There are opportunities in other transactions also. So suppose the party says, out of for this 10 lakhs, uh, the party says, no, 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 I can give you only 8 lakhs and I can't give you anything more. So then you could, you have the option because it's your land. Depending on the importance, whether you want the money immediately or not, you can say, uh, it's okay, then uh, we'll forget the deal. Uh, when you are thinking of a higher price you may come back to me otherwise presently we will stop because
there are opportunities in other transactions also. You might, there might be a time when another person might come for that land with a higher price. But who knows? So uh, these are certain things that you can do during negotiations. So negotiation is a way of you know resolving disputes. And this can happen in any place, in a legal procedure, in a government matter. I'm sure that many of you will have lots of you would have done lots of negotiations, but then negotiations generally uh, you uh, your parents do the negotiations for the, for the time being, but you are all getting of age now. Within one or two years, you will also have to start doing negotiations, and it is very critical. It is very important that when you negotiate, you should not be angry. You should not, you know. Others, you should um, be. You you should never be very rigid. Uh, you should not let emotions overtake you, and you must also be optimistic. These are certain points that you need to think about when doing a negotiation.